Okay, it's Philip Jeffrey, basically. I'm here at Don Bowles with Dream Bank. She's the founder. And I'd like you to sort of tell us why you're here and what this is about. Uh, well, we're here today because it's our beta launch event. So we've been working on this for a couple of years. Um, I'll tell you, Dream Bank is actually it's an online place where you can go and post a dream. And that's something special, something that you've always wanted to do or have that's just probably a bit more than you spend yourself or you need help to achieve. It. And the idea is you post your dream. It's set up like a social networking site. You have a profile, you post your dream. And when it's your birthday, or different occasions, um, even your, your work, your graduation, wedding, anything, uh, people can contribute to that. There's an easy way for them to contribute to your dream, no matter where they are in the world, um, and help you get towards achieve the thing that you really, really want to do. There's also a social uh, benefit. A, you waste less stuff. Um, that's one of the big things, just not buying things that people don't use. But B, and really importantly, is you associate your dream with a charity when you sign up. And what we do is we pull all the little bits of dreamer money together, and the interest on that big pot that wouldn't exist otherwise gets sent off to the charities that our dreamers have said they want to support. So by using Dream Bank, you get something really special you want, you make it easy for your friends and family to give you something really special, and you help charities. And how did this idea come to be? Well, a couple years ago, right, right about now, um, it was actually just that I I saw a need for it. It was coming up to my birthday, and I was feeling a bit stressed out. I've kind of I've just finished a degree in uh, responsible business, and I'm interested in sustainable things, and, and also things that just make sense. And I I get stressed out because I have so many generous friends, and I have to figure out what I want every year, and I don't really need anything. Um, and then I thought, why? I wish what I really want is a road bike. I was just starting my degree, and I didn't have the money for a road bike. And I thought, I really want a road bike. You can't ask for that. That's not really socially acceptable. There's no way to do it. Why not? Wouldn't it be better if we bought for people that way, bought and received that way? And then I started thinking, and, if, and hey, couldn't we just sort of use the money as well, leverage that pot of money while we're waiting, and give it to charity, seeing as we have so much. So. Here we have Dream Bank two years later. It's taken us to build it, but we're, <laughs> we're excited that we're live and people are already using it and excited as well. Any cool uses so far? Uh, so far, well, it's been a wedding registry. As I said, we've got children on there looking for uh, uh, pets. They want a special pet they want to save for. Uh, we've got um, lots of trips and special sort of um, missionary trips or um, you know, rebuilding things in developing countries. Uh, so there's a sort of there's a, a social give back event to some of the dreams, but not everything. It can be anything. So far, it's been pretty cool to see what we're doing. Somebody's going to a conference. Another blogger with six or four, so you know she's raising money to get herself to this conference, for example. And what's the name of the website? It's Dream Bank, like DreamBank.org. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.